Yeah. 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 Um, he had his just finished his masters, went out, came back, and said, um, "I've had something bad, or they've given me something bad." We never found out what happened because he was dead by the time we began to ask questions. He went as a voluntary patient to the Bethlehem Hospital to try and find out what was wrong with himself. And when he wanted to come home as a voluntary patient, he knew he could. Instead of calling me, they called the police. And 11 police officers in two sets of restraint, lasting about 45 minutes, handcuffed him on his stomach in the seclusion room with the nurses and a doctor watching and they restrained him like that and when he went limp they thought he was pretending he was faking it and they left him in the room to die and when they realized he wasn't moving they came in and resuscitated him and we didn't know what had happened he was on life support and after four days they told us he was brain dead so we switched off the machine it took us seven years seven years to have an inquest and find out how he died Luckily, the inquest found that he died from excessive, disproportionate, unnecessary force and restraint. That had killed him. But that was it. Nothing else happened. Nothing happened to the police. Just nothing happened. And that's how I keep fighting. I'm 74 nearly. I shouldn't have to be doing this. Just unbelievable one thing I would say you guys are a brilliant example of what I put my faith in young people you're gonna yeah yeah it's up to you it's up to you don't look to America we have many, many thousands of people who are dead here at the hands of the state. Prisons, immigration centers, police, in the health, in the hospitals. There are thousands. Look here. See what's happening. Keep abreast what's happening. Be your neighbor's keeper. It doesn't matter who you are. Just look after the people around you. Just look after the people around you. It's so sad that we're having to have a vigil now for somebody nobody knew. He didn't know any of you, but without you, his name wouldn't be out there. You're the guys, you're the guys. You are brilliant, full of admiration full of admiration. I just want to remind you, I'm, I'm part of the UFFC, United Family and Friends campaign of those who died in state custody. And I think they've told you the 28th of October, we want crowds, we want crowds, we need people. We need people. We need people, please come, bring your friends. Bring anybody, just come and support us on the October the 28th, the last Saturday of October at Trafalgar Square at 12 o'clock. You guys are my heroes. You're my heroes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being there for other people, for your support. Thank you.